Hello, I'm back. It's me, Ariza Gaming. I've returned. We are back with some more Mega Aquarium, and we are going to move on to the next mission, which is Le Dufont. So what is this about? Turn a shabby warehouse into shabby chic. Alright, let's see what this does then. What's the theme of this mission going to be? The Delizens of Bourgeois Le Dufont don't like anything too flashy, and they certainly won't stand for anything that isn't one of a kind. Due to this, you, are, you operate under a, a peculiar restriction in Le Dufont. Hold on, I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> now, with this in mind... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, particular restriction. You're only allowed one of each uh, species. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be annoying. With this in mind, you'll have to craft an aquarium that's small but perfectly formed. Fortunately for you, the discarded items in this warehouse may help you get started. Unsurprisingly, upcycling is very fashionable in the Dufont. The goal is to reach rank 10 and attain a high daily revenue. Prove that the best things come in small packages. Okay. This is going to be very annoying. Um, so because we're only allowed one fish of each species, the prestige chance is going to stay relatively low because we can't stack it. Normally with small fish, their prestige chance is quite low and you you give your guests a high chance of getting the prestige by having lots of that fish in the tank. So I think what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have mostly big fish that start with the higher prestige chances if we're having them on their own. This is going to be annoying. We need to get 4,500 prestige. This is huge. We're going to have to have some high level fish for this. So we did start with a lot of stuff, and we mostly, we're mostly up for doing whatever we want. So let's see. We've got a few different missions. Mixed tank. We've got missions for base prestige. Okay. Mixed display. Surgeon fish exhibit. Okay. That sounds. That sounds pretty good to me. Hmm. All right. Wimp Scavenger Plant Lover. I mean, we'll do all of these, obviously. We'll have a think about this. We have started with a fair bit of stuff. In terms of the fish we have available, we do not have that many fish available to start. Mostly small fish. Can we do the surgeon fish immediately? No. We could probably do the coral one initially. Yes, because we have four corals. We can have three different animals. Obviously nothing that actually eats coral. We're only allowed one at a time. Okay. Let's have a think about this. So I think I agreed that I want a central pump room. And that's kind of what I want to do. We're not going to sell anything to start, because we can't necessarily get all this stuff back. So we'll definitely just move it around and have a play around with it. We've got lots of balloon stuff, so it's interesting. Vending machines can go here. Although I don't think we're going to have both of those in that one area. I mean, what this is suggesting to me is that we could have wall tanks separated off by these dividers, and then we could just have a backspace where they do all the maintenance stuff, and we have some pumps back here. That seems like a reasonable way of doing this. And then we have it, like, three wide between the tanks, maybe? Let's try that. We've got a few lagoon tanks as well. So let's have a think. If we just block the entrance in. Yes, perfect. Good idea. I mean, the funny thing is, maybe we could have that one right at the entrance. And then we could put, like, the vending machines and the coffee machines here. Something along those lines. So people walk in, they get to see this tank immediately. So this could be the coral tank. I think that would make sense. So let's see. These aren't too expensive. They all require the same things. So 
Let's get the toadstool leather one, and then let's get the blue tubular sponge and the disco mushrooms for science as well. So it's a bit. These don't actually take up any space in the tank either. They just affect the water quality. So that's fine like that. This tank goes up to 12 size. Do we, <laughs> do we have fish that's small? These guys eat stony corals, but I think they're fine. I don't think this guy's going to have any problem with these, with uh, the oblique line dotty back. This guy's a bully. He can't be grouped with dotty backs, grammars, or empties, so that's fine. We put him in here. We put the red tailed butterfish in here. Butterfly fish. Not, not a butterfish. It's not made of butter. And then we need one that's full size. Flame angelfish? Yeah, that seems good. He won't eat soft corals, he only eats stony corals. So that seems good. Alright, we're, we're on to a winner with this one. I think what I'm actually going to do... Is we're going to move all this stuff over here. And I'm going to put this tank over here. It's not actually in the way of the entrance. Because I think having the entrance there would be important. Hey Tech Rock, how you doing? Yes, a total butterfish. Exactly. Let's just put the balloons. Just put the balloons over here, maybe. If we do something like this, still trying to think about how exactly I want to lay this place out. Maybe we just put these along here, like this. We just have like a big. Big wall here. Wall of balloons. Doesn't look quite right. Because I want to reuse this stuff. I want to reuse this stuff. Fit with the theme. I'm going to have to leave some gaps. I think. Yeah, that's, that just isn't going to fit like that. So maybe we just do it like that. And then... I think I'm going to replace that with, with the other vending machine. You know what? I like that. I think we'll go with this. I'm going to stop fiddling around with them now. So, we've got a bin here. That's good. This lagoon tank can go somewhere else. We'll need some bench coverage. Obviously, a bench is going to obscure that bit there. Obstruct that bit there. Let's put a bench here. This obviously isn't going to go there. Put a bench here as well. That seems passable. There we go. I think that's good. And then we'll put some more tanks in here. These ones will need to be a bit bigger, I think. We're only allowed to put one of each fish in the aquarium. At least I think that's the case. Yeah, you're only allowed one of each species. So I presume when we unpause, those species won't be available to us at all any. Right, let's put some lamps on this tank. So that can go... Where? I hope we have lamps unlocked. <laughs> that would be bad if we didn't. Ah, here we go. Right, yes. Power lights needed. That's fine. And then, yeah, let's actually set up the amenities. So, this whole back bit is going to be open here, and we're going to do everything with pumps this time. So, wall, wall, wall. I need to think about what the actual theme is going to be as well. So, let's, let's see. Let's remove that and put a door there. 
Maybe we'll just do the doors along that side. I'm going to paint all this stuff now, because I don't want to look at all of this. What theme haven't we done yet? I don't think the rank here actually makes a difference. So I think... Yeah, I think I was misinterpreting this. We don't necessarily need to do a high rank thing. We just need to mix up the areas. So I think let's actually do each area with its own paint. That seems like a good idea. And then this one can be slightly different. So that can be Pacific. I guess we'll do it looking from this end. I think that's how we'll style everything. This one can be Pirate Cove. Yeah, because this is actually going to be making it look more like a fish shop than a aquarium, I suppose. That's fine. Uh, these are obviously going to go in tanks. But I need to think about where they're actually going to go. And then I might even leave the blue paint around. Maybe we'll just make it beach themed. And then, no, yeah, the blue paint will be used for that area. Okay. And then the, the beach paint will just go along here. Yeah, I'm liking how this is looking with us just mixing all the styles together. This is going to look way different. So, we're going to want pumps. What's the biggest pump that we have? The, the two tank pump. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll put that in the middle here. We'll hook up all the equipment to this. So... I think we'll just change the equipment as we go. Where you need exactly what people want. Yeah, for this mission, they want they want one of each fish, one of each thing. So I think that does make a lot of sense. Let's put a power combi on there. And then you could also have a little protein skimmer. And then that gets you to the water quality. There we go. Extra base prestige. You require plants though. Okay. So we need to sell one of the live rocks, or at least move it. Let's move it. Yeah, two live rocks is still enough rock. These fish like to rock and or roll. So then we can just get a sea lettuce. Oh, we need two plants worth. Two plants worth on one tile. Balls, balls, balls. That's not going to work. Need three rocks and two plants. And we need the three and we need the three corals. Which isn't going to work. <laughs> I don't think there's any way we can make that work because we can't fit a kelp in here. Good job, game. <laughs> uh, eelgrass and then a uh, there's no one rock that gives four rocks, though. This one plant has the rocks and the plants. But we don't have enough space. Well, that's annoying. That honestly just feels impossible. We literally just can't get the, the rocks in. We need two live rocks minimum. And we need two plants minimum. Boo. Thanks for the raid. Hey, Trouble Queen. How are you? We're doing Mega Aquarium. We just beat um, one of the missions, Myra, which only required big fish. And we're just starting on this mission where we're only allowed one of each fish in the whole aquarium. So we're going to format it to look a bit like a fish shop. And I've just been given a starting quest where we were able to achieve it, but I don't think we can actually make all the fish happy in such a small thing. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this toadstool coral. 
and we're going to put the plants in here. We'll keep the fish in there. So that can be an eel grass. There you go. So now you're all happy. We got the base prestige. That's the important thing. Yes, yeah, so what have you been up to today? Oh, we need to put food dispensers in here as well. So let's do that. Let's put the food dispensers on this wall. Fish. Yes. We've got all the fish today. We've got one of each fish here. You need orange pellets as well. And you also need zooplankton. Yes. Hello, Kahako. How you doing? Wave to you too. Right, so this tank is done. We have a few more quests to start off with to give us some extra base prestige. So we need to build a tank with one wimp, one scavenger, and one plant lover. Now, do we have all of those things? So let's go with not in aquarium, because there's no point not doing that. We can't place them. Uh, obviously, we don't want any of these active swimmers in here. Have we got a wimp? The porcupine puffer will do. Okay, so porcupine puffer is there. You're not a plant lover. That's fine. You're going to get up to size 8. I do not currently have any scavengers. So we definitely can't do that quest right now. So let's think about something else. And we can't do the surgeon fish quest right, right now. So let's think about something else as well. So we could do a tank with stuff that doesn't fit either of these two quests. I think that makes sense. So what have we got next? You're surgeon fish. So we'll leave you for another day. You're a small little dude. Maybe I just put you and the epaulette shark in one tank? You'll eat crustaceans, you'll eat stony corals. So no stony corals, but we still have soft crops we can do. You guys don't mind light. So if we put you in a tank together, you're going to take up 19 space. So that would require... I think a corner tank is fine. If we have the regular corner tanks, we do. That's what we want in this case, not a deep one. And then what I can actually do is I can remove... Or am I just going to do all the goon tanks? They so just come in and feed them. Or, or basic tanks. So I could do that one as a basic tank. That'll only go up to 12. That'll be 3x3, three three, so that's not really going to work very well. Yeah, these are all three wide. I mean, I could literally do it so we have a lagoon tank here. And then they come in and they feed them from this side. And then all the food is kept on this side. That does kind of work. I'm kind of liking that vibe. Keeping your dupes warm on the frozen forest planet. Nice, nice. Yeah, frozen forest start seems really hard. You know what? I think we'll do that. It's a bit different, isn't it? So we can fit 32 size worth of fish in there. So I think for now, let's do the epaulette shark... And the box fish. That gives us 13 extra space to work with. Thirteen extra space. Which I don't think we can do at the moment, so I think we just leave that open for another fish. This guy's the wimp, so we want to save him for the quest. <laughs> Look at the little box fish, he's so small. These fish are all pretty small. Right, so this pump, we're going to add this tank. So let's actually think about this a bit more. Let's put the heater on. I think we're going to want a power combi and a combi mini. It's enough heat. Water quality is also high enough at the moment, so that's good. Uh, you guys need some rocks, so... Probably just a rubble? Yeah, I'll put a rubble in there for now, and then you can have some extra tank decorations in here. So, what would that be? Maybe we'll have a sea lettuce, just because the sea lettuce is rubbish. And then we'll put some regular decorations in here, like 
the anchors, maybe? Yeah, I'll put the anchors in here. Seems good. And then you're going to need sand eels, supplements, and cockles. So that bit's going to be reserved for equipment. So let's just put the rest of these feeding bins around here. You know what, maybe we actually move this back here. And then this can link back up to that. And then I can put another piece of equipment here. We can just put more feeding bins here. That seems good to me. So, sand eels. Cockles. Supplements. Okay. Seems good. We're almost out of money. This tank definitely needs to go somewhere. Oh, there's all these decorations I should be using. Do those in the next tank. So what other fish do we have left? We have a stingray. Which I don't think fits any of these categories. I think we may just leave it. I think that may do. So what I'll do for now is I think I'll actually just wall this off. I'll wall this off over here. We'll put the... Let's see. Tropical beach paint goes here. Yeah, look at that. That looks, that looks fresh, doesn't it? Okay. We'll, ex we'll expand that later. And then in terms of vending machine coverage, let's actually move this in here for now. We'll put the fizzy drinks machine over here. That should get coverage everywhere. What else do we have in terms of amenities? We have benches, we have a bin. We need toilets. I think what makes sense for now is to just put a toilet here. And that'll do. Okay. Looks so ugly. No, I'm not doing that. There we go. I'll put, I'll put a toilet there for now instead. How does that sound? Okay, let's keep the tropical beach paint going. That seems good. All this. All beach paint. We obviously have way too many uh, toys on display at the moment. But that's kind of funny. Toy supply. You know what? Let's actually put the toys over here for now. What else do we want? We have a podium. I don't think there's any point doing a podium yet. Guidebooks? Yes. Guidebooks can go at the front. Because we want, we want our money makers. I can go there. And then... I think that's it. I don't think there's any point doing talks yet because the fish aren't that good. And then... Yeah, yeah, let's move this over here for now. The net can temporarily go here to restrict people from going over here. Same with the barrels. Amazing. I think those go better over here. Okay, this is currently a very, very small aquarium, but that's fine. Um, room can go here. Toolbox can go here. I actually have two toolboxes. And the sponge sink can go here. Okay, I think we're just about ready to start then. We do have a little bit of extra money, but we just need to unlock some fish. So, who are we going to hire? We've got 12 people. Anna seems like a good pick. Extra movement speed is not particularly relevant at the moment. Let's pick Anna. We need at least one person with cleaning. I think 
Isla would be pretty good at that. Oh, we need a fixer as well, Romeo. Okay, you know what? Maybe just you two will do for now. So you can prioritize fixing, you can prioritize feeding. Okay. I think I think that's it. So let's save it quickly. Uh, uh, we will save it as Stream Aquarium 8. And we'll see how it goes. We'll open it up. See what everyone likes. Ah, uh, it's nice when you can fit the whole aquarium easily into your view. Have a quick look at the tanks. Once we get some guests, we'll actually start generating some science. Yeah, you guys seem fairly happy. At least this aquarium is going to feel significantly different to the other ones. I feel a bit bad that this tank is so deep though, and you're going to be crawling on the floor most of the time. The box fish has plenty of room to roam. Yes, the guests seem to mostly be buying stuff rather than looking at the fish at the moment. It's like, oh boy, balloons! My favorite. Right. We have a lot of fish available. So I think we obviously go with the cheap ones first so we can actually put them in tanks. Because you're going to unlock those right away. Yeah. Amazing. We're just going to absolutely churn through these fish. Fishy power hour. Um, in terms of stuff, jellyfish tank. We've already got balloon shelves in the coffee machine, so I don't think we need those. Deluxe toilet? I think yes. I think that's worth doing right away for the extra prestige. Yeah, let's just go for that. Um, we're not going to unlock that for ages. Orchid Dotty back. Great. Yeah, let's just keep going through the cheap ones and we can put some tanks together. We'll go to the end of the day and then we'll add another tank here. We'll see what prestige we get. The epaulette shark is currently the uh, standout. His little lagoon. Fish is probably thinking, wow, that tank is deep. Okay. Uh, ah, here's a scavenger. Okay, let's get the scavenger next. Because then I think we can do the next mixed display quest. That sounds good to me. So I think what we do is we try and keep to the small tanks over here, wherever we can. And then we have the spacing be slightly different on this side, and we make those slightly bigger tanks. And we just have it be a straight line all the way down. And then we can put a load of pumps in here or something. Right, let's add another tank. So, these guys are very basic. Obviously, <laughs> when I was preparing that stats video uh, for the YouTube channel, um... These fish are not very efficient in terms of space, ecology per space. Um, they're quite cost efficient, but they just do not give a lot of science points. So, there's a reason they're early game fish. Uh, so, we'll wait. Should we wait until we get the scavenger? I mean, if you're not a wimp, a scavenger, or a plant lover, or a surgeon fish, I think I'm fine putting you in the tank together. So. Yeah, let's see. So you're two, two, four. You just don't need lights. You can go in there as well. So that's 12. So we could do another tank with just one of this fish as well. And they're all orange pellets. They're all low quality, so that's fine. So let's actually just put a basic tank in here. Oh, that one's four wide. That one's cheating. It's cheating. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe we can make it a bit bigger. No, I do want them to be able to access these doors from this side as well. So we'll just make this one a smaller tank. So you can go in here. You can go in here. You're a bully, but there's no wimps in the tank, so that's not a problem. And you just don't like lights. But you can go in here as well. And we've already looked at all, all of these starting fish in the other playthroughs, so I'm not going to go through all their flavor text. Um... You do require a cave. 
So that's for the black bar soldier fish. So you can have a driftwood back here. And then I'm actually kind of liking keeping those decorations out here at the moment. Oh, we need to move all the barrels. All right, barrels go in here. Maybe we take the one barrel out. Yeah, maybe that one barrel can go here for now. And then, what else do we put in there? Something for prestige? Put the shells in here. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, and then you just need heating and orange pellets. So we'll put another pump in. We'll connect that to the other tank as well in a minute. So that can just go there. And for now, I'll just put a power combi on this. A combi mini. I'm sure I'm calling all these things the wrong things all the time. And that's actually enough for you guys. <laughs> this, this one power combi is actually enough for these guys completely. Which is hilarious to me. I could even just move this tank over here and then not have the pump. What am I actually going to put back here? Put some of these lanterns, maybe. Looks quite snazzy. Yeah, whatever, we'll do that and we'll connect this tank up as well. We'll have that one be another lagoon tank. So that's not going to take very long. Obviously, this aquarium is currently skewing towards um, ecology rather than science. It is going to take us many years to unlock this toilet. That's fine. These are not the world's most demanding fish. They're quite small. <laughs> They're quite small, but they've each got their happy place in this basic tank. This guy's in charge. Next to hide behind the barrel. Right, um, so, what's the other fish? We're still knocking the scavenger. And then, in terms of plant lovers, these are surgeon fish, but we'll research a plant lover after that. So, we'll put the porcupine puffer in there. We'll put the. Oh, is he going to eat the hermit crab? Let's see. Yeah, you're going to get eaten by the, the porcupine puffer. They do like to eat shellfish. That's very true. So we're going to need to put something else in there. In terms of plant lovers. You're a plant lover. And you're a wimp. So that actually seems like the best one. The coral beauty. And you don't eat the crab. So we'll actually get you next. And then we can do that next quest. And... I honestly think we just wait for now because we don't really want to do any of these. I mean, we could do a bigger lagoon tank here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's put the stingray in a bigger lagoon tank. 42. That's big enough for a stingray on its own. <laughs> there you go. Ozzeltov. Right, net goes in the back. I'll access it around the back. You eat sand eels and get your supplement. So that's fine. That can already go in here. I don't think you're going to need an extra thing for that. Although I might move these here. Something like this. Yeah, that seems good for now. And then you're obviously going to need some more heat. So that needs to be hooked up to this pump. It's going to require 54 heat, so we add a power combi here. And then you need a protein, um, you need like a skimmer or something, don't you? Yeah. Okay. You're getting very good quality water now as well. Enjoy it. And then what else do we put in here? I have all these live rocks. Let's actually move these out.
Do something else with these. Yeah, that seems good. And then four little single single decorations in here, maybe? <laughs> the skulls. <laughs> Lethal stingray. <laughs> I'm not going to make any jokes about that. I feel sad about Steve Irwin. <laughs> this is the lethal stingray uh, tank. Right, um, I think that's actually done. So you can just hang out in there. Get this whole tank to yourself. Enjoy it. I wonder what a stingray would say if they could say something. Yeah, I like that this... I like that this aquarium is having this unique feel to it. And we'll keep expanding it up here as well. And then all the equipment is just going to be back here. Seems pretty space efficient. Right, let's speed it up. Let's unlock this Coral Beauty. And then we'll uh, be able to do this quest. Get some extra base prestige. Because we need 2,200 prestige to get to level... To rank... Is this our current rank? Yes. The next surge of fish is in the next rank. I think it might take a while. Right, Coral Beauty is done. Let's keep grabbing the other fish. So... We can just put the Coral Beauty and the Hermit Crab together. So let's expend, extend this out a bit more as well. And as I said, we'll save, we'll save this half for the bigger tanks. So I can go like that. Oh, am I actually painting these tanks to match the uh, environments? Am now. Yeah, there we go. That's good. So let's continue painting everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, that toilet actually needs to stay there. You know what? I think I am going to do this. I don't think it makes sense not to do this. Okay, you know what? Instead, maybe I'm going to put it here. And then the next one can go here. I'll probably adjust that later. That can go here, that can go somewhere else. What else do we do? We've obviously got plenty of benches. So this guy gets up to size 3, this guy gets up to size 2. You're a wimp as well, but you eat the crustaceans. We can't put you in there. We need another small fish to put in here. Um, what are you? You're a surgeon fish. Okay, so we want you in the surgeon fish tank. This is going to be a very small tank. Well, we, I'm sure we can find another fish that's size 7 later. We can put the corals in there as well. So we'll just make this another basic tank. Then we go... Here. Keep opening this up. This obviously isn't super space efficient. But it's so aesthetic that we're going to go for it in. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be doing it with these things, but I do like having the vending machines be... Um, in front of each divider. So I might just keep it like that. Right, what's the next paint? Oh, the next paint is Tropical Beach. So I think we just repeat the paint now. It's fine. So you can go in here. And then you can go in here. And then we need plants. We need water quality. Uh, let's just put the sea grapes in here. That seems good. And then... Oh my god, can we actually just have another plant in here and have that do? That would be hilarious.
I reckon we can move some of the live rocks across, and that might actually do it. You know what? I'm going to try it. That sounds very funny. Yeah, look. We don't even have a filter on this tank. The plant is doing all of the filtration. That's excellent. Yeah, um, that, that'll probably be enough for something else as well. We do still need to put a heater on this, sadly. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just wall this off like this. Then Yeah, that one doesn't quite match, but then we can just stick a, a heater here. Like a basic heater. There we go. Amazing. One amazing tank that gives us all that base prestige. One fish, one crab, no filter, <laughs> one heater. Perfect. Right, okay. And you need green pellets, so maybe we put another green pellet dispenser over here. I must say, I'm liking the weird vibe from this challenge. That doesn't even need a pump, so that's good. You've actually got enough amenities over here. I don't even need to put anything here for now. There we go. So the lionfish won't fit in there. We're looking for a size 7 fish. You can only be housed with lionfish. So you won't do. You're a surgeon fish. You're too big. We can't do clownfish in here because I don't think they like... Well, we can do a clownfish. We just wouldn't be able to put an aquarium in here. We could do that. Or an, um, an anemone. Not an aquarium. <laughs> Although these are starting to get quite expensive in terms of science. Hello there, Ziphophorus43, uh, Maculatus. Hello there, hello, new here, love me some fish. With a, with, a, with a username like that, you certainly do love some fish. Yes, actually, let me just, sh let me just show the tank quickly. Here we go. Here's my tank. We have some platies in there. That, that that's a platy name, isn't it? That's a scientific name for platy, isn't it? Try I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Got some very artist platies in there. They're having fun. Uh, I'm going to show you the fish tank the fish cam quickly. Yes, there's a platy. There's another one. That one has always had this red coloration on its face. I don't know why. But uh, yes, they are enjoying themselves. Back to the game. Yeah, big fan. Spotted boxfish? That would be a good one. Size 5, dislikes, food competitors. I mean, that's expensive, but we can... How long is it going to take? That's going to take a few days. Well, we can get the surgeon fish tank going. Oh, you'll eat the crustacean with size 2? Uh, you're a size 2 crustacean. Whatever. We'll do the lionfish instead. I'll have a think about that. Maybe we'll get a quest for another fish. Right, so we need three surgeon fish. We have three surgeon fish. It, the tank is going to need to be at least 48 in size. So, yes. Let's put that over here. We've still got some benches over here, actually. Good. Let me... let me have a think. It needs to be at least 48. It'll need to be one of these deep tanks or a lagoon tank. Maybe that's what we do with this tank? We put it like here? Even go have a look at all the fish? And go either side of the toilet maybe? You know what, I kind of like that. And then we can put a door here. And then they can feed all the surgeon fish around here. Okay, let's do that. So, yes, yeah, surgeon fish. I wouldn't trust these fish to do any surgery, to be honest. So you can't have food competitors. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> the Achilles one eats green pellets too. So we can't have the fox face rabbit fish in the same tank as the Achilles surgeon fish. So we're going to need another surgeon fish. 
It's not that one. Okay, well, whatever. Wait, wait, wait. In that case, that's a size 7 fish. Hold, hold the phone. Hmm. Most puffers and their relatives do love to eat their shell critters. Exactly. Yes. So we definitely can't put the porcupine puffer in here with the hammock. Now, I've seen the videos of that guy on YouTube who has the mboo puffer fish that just eats the bags of clams. Yeah, you're a green pellet food. So we can't even put you in here with this one. Ah, oh, that's annoying. It's going to have to be the unicorn surgeon fish. We'll research that one next. We'll have to think about something else to go in that tank. Uh, so, Mr. Foxface, you're going to get sold. Feels bad. Achilles Surgeon Fish goes in here. Regal Tang goes in here. Um, that just needs to be access. So, I guess we'll just have the feeding platform here. That could be a wall that goes out here as well. Another door here. This is right near the bench anyways, although that bench doesn't actually reach out that way, does it? I could put another bench here. It's kind of goofy, but I think it will work. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So, move the padded bench here. Because that one is facing the wrong way. So that's the bench that people can sit next to the toilet and watch the surgeon fish. Okay. Um, and then you need... We're going to have pumps again. So you need the krill and the green pellets. That sounds good to me. And then you need rocks and plants. Well, let's give you the triangular turban weed. Sounds good to me. That can go out front. Uh, move that here. You are going to need a heater. It's fine. Yeah, I think we'll just do these deep outcrop tanks over here. For the, for the, the larger fish, if we can. So let's see. Power pump goes here. I think it probably makes sense for me to put this here for now. Let's open all this up. And then you're going to want probably you're probably going to want a large heater. Because we're going to connect that to another tank as well. And then... I think I'll just give you a large one of everything. Oh, that, I mean, that's going to do for now. You're obviously going to grow, though. So... Uh, let's leave it for now. That's fine. And then, what else do you put in the back? It seems like a good spot to put the... The little gate. And then... Arm tree can go over here, maybe. I don't... Because obviously we're not going to put the palm tree in the tank. Believe it or not. We've got a little bit of money left. <laughs> We've got some cannons. Yeah, there you go. Have some cannons. And then... We have the little blocks out here. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Uh, then you just need one more surgeon fish. So we'll research that next. But you're obviously going to add to the research. Yeah. It's Dory. Dory, maybe you're going to go in the thumbnail today. We'll see. You did pose especially well. Uh, so let's definitely get the unicorn surgeon fish next. And then after this we'll do a lionfish tank. Uh, you need to be painted, so I think we'll keep the paint so that it's the same theme on both sides. I think that makes sense. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We don't have anyone doing gift shop. That makes sense. I have someone who can do gift shop. I completely forgot about that. We've had all this stuff. This guy is charging 84 a day. What a nutter. Um, you see more of our speed. And we'll make sure that you're prioritizing gift shop. Okay. That should do. You've once seen a fox face each uh, with a large clam. The clam has a lot of bite marks. So it's a stereotype the herbivore only eats plant. Yes, true. So what's your favorite fish then? What experience do you have with fish? Because I got my tanks a couple of years ago when I bought this house. And uh, they keep the company. The, the mascot, the channel mascot is Whiskers the Weatherloach, who if I actually go to this view, you see Whiskers is hanging out down there at the moment, uh, directly underneath the fish cam. And then in this tank here, um, I have some African dwarf frogs. And that, well, that one's got the heat. These guys usually are somewhere between 18 and 24 degrees, and they're all sort of temperate fish. That so works out pretty well for them, and they don't need a heater. Right, um, fish. Yes, yeah, shouldn't take long for us to unlock this. The science is starting to come in. Who's got the negative thoughts? You're too hungry? Nah. Rubbish. You currently have two tanks. Love me some corridors. Oh my god, corridors are so cute. I love them. <laughs> if I had a third tank, I'd probably get corridors. Right, lionfish next. So the stingray has grown. Okay. I don't think that's going to affect anything. Yep, you've got plenty of filtration. So now we can actually put the unicorn surgeon fish in here. Uh, you're a plant lover. Do we have plants in here? We don't have enough. Okay, that's fine. And you're going to need a bit more water quality. So let's actually sell the... I don't like the cannons in here. I don't think they look that good. So let's actually remove those and put in some more plants maybe just the feather calerpa yeah that'll do and then let's put a nitro uh, protein skimmer on this oh right yeah there you go all right there's some extra base prestige excellent this, this is the, this is probably one of my favorite fish in the game because every time i see it i just think he looks so derpy the little horn. And he reminds me of someone, but I don't know who, and I still haven't figured it out. You guys have to fill my uh, Discord with <laughs> with people who look like this guy. It's because he has a big nose. And most fish don't have, like, a nose. Is Munical fish huge? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, here's the Achilles one as well. Looks pretty cool. Like the guy's shirt. With the little lightning bolt there. Wow, this place is busy. That's good. So, definitely lionfish tank next. What other fish have we got? So, you're going to be annoying. I can probably put you with this guy in a small tank. We'll have a think. Maybe put some coral in there. That does seem good. Right. What's next? Clownfish and anemones seem like a good bet. We do want more science as well, though. Marble, serpent, starfish seem decent. You know, the bull who requires the cold water tank. You know, I didn't even check my cold water stuff. I think we'll put all the cold water stuff over here. These green moray eels, I think they're very underrated. They give you a lot of science. Well, a lot of ecology. And they're very cheap relative to the amount of ecology they give you. And the size to ecology ratio isn't bad either. Let's do the clownfish. Let's get more prestige. These guys 
are quite good at prestige for being such a small fish. So let's see. We're only allowed... So this, this tank is going to have to be a small tank. It's going to have to be a size 16. Or slightly higher. But we can't put anything that's not a lionfish in it. So that's probably just going to go over here then. So let's keep extending this out. Do I even want to make that a lagoon tank? Don't know. So, wall, door. How big is it gonna get? We can just, we can just do a basic tank. Yeah, that doesn't even have to be a lagoon because it's gonna literally have one of each lionfish in it. So, yeah, you don't mind each other. We've done we've done you together before. That's going to give us some extra science. You need a cave. Uh, so let's give you the rocky overhang. That satisfies both of you in that regard. Uh, you guys can just have the small rocks, I think. That's fine. And then you need filtration power and a heater. And this door is for feeding, so we don't want to have it on the inside. So I guess we'll put the pump here. Let's actually paint this. There we go. So we'll put a power pump over here. We'll put more stuff uh, towards this end. We could probably move a load of supplies over here as well. Wait, I didn't actually build that, did I? <laughs> Try again. And then for now, you can just have... Combi Mini. And then we can give you... Probably a double filter. Yeah. Uh, that's probably overkill. Maybe just a regular filter? I mean, you're going to grow in a little bit, so... Right, let's see. This green pellet can go over here, because I think you don't actually use a green pellet. And then... More food. You need mussels. That's fine. Okay. Lionfish tank seems done. Good. Oh, I, did, I forgot to paint this. That's fine. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Uh, you guys are probably running out of amenities now. Yes. So I think we start repeating the, the amenity buildings at this point. We have an extra vending machine here, so I can go here. We have one more amenity machine. We can do a podium here for now. Yeah. Yeah, we can do a stingray tour. Sounds good to me. So Mike headset can go here. Actually, you know what? Let's actually move this there. Put the mic headset there. That seems good. And then you can do a talk about the stingray. Yeah, that seems good. Yay. That coral beauty tank is a completely self-sufficient ecosystem. I know, right? I'm so happy with that. <laughs> one fish, one crab, plants and rocks, and that's and that's actually it. It just needs a little heater. Very happy with that. In fact, I'm so happy, I'm probably not actually going to put another fish in there. We could act... Can we actually... You eat the stony corals, don't you? Yeah, you eat stony corals. I think I could actually put the soft corals in here. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Because the tank has 10 filter power and 4 nitrate power. Let's see what happens if we remove one of the live rocks. No. We can't sell those. We can't get them back. <laughs> I'm really glad I remembered that. Whatever. I'm not going to mess with it. That's fine. We'll leave that for now. So, lionfish are go. This guy needs to go in a different tank because he's a fuss head. 
probably put him in a tank with this one. And maybe put the corals in there. Yeah, but look, we actually do have some cold water fish that we can do as well. So we should think about that. They generally get bigger, so maybe we'll do them on this side in our crop tanks. We'll have to think. You do need some more surgeon fish. Wait. You haven't been eating? Someone needs to feed you. Perhaps we need another person to feed. It's fine. You can you can feed and you can clean as well. There you go. So the next big tank, I think, is going to be the cold water tank. So you can't be in a tank with fish that eat mussels. I could put you with you. You're all armored. You take eight days to grow. So provided that you grow first, you won't get eaten. This guy eats animals as well. He'll initially eat the lump sucker before it grows. Oh no, he won't because it's armored. Was the epaulette shark a quest reward? No, it wasn't actually. It, uh, we just started with it. He's currently pondering the lettuce. <laughs> like, hmm, yes, this lettuce is full of lettuce. I'm going to speed up a bit. Not really sure what to do yet. This aquarium is untidy. Regal tank looks stressed. Why is this not getting fed? It is fed. I mean, the answer to why this isn't being fed is because the, the access is completely the other side of the aquarium stuff, I suppose. Yeah, it's going to take us a while to get up to this rank. Um, so that's what the clownfish is for. Let's do that next. Um, starfish is probably something we go for. Oh, I could put the starfish in here. That's another scavenger. Oh, but it gets a size 8, so it's one too big. No, let's get the anemone. That makes sense. Yeah, because we haven't actually got an anemone here. So we'll get the anemone and then we'll do the clownfish tank next. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe we need more toilets. Maybe we need more maybe we need more stuff in general, I think. There's too much stuff going on there. Um you can talk as well. Seems good. So you can prioritize cleaning. And you can prioritize talking. We didn't have anyone who could actually talk yet. You heard lump suckers are used in salmon farms as parasite control. Interesting. I do need to get a lump sucker. Oh my god, look how much litter there is! Wait, 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 wait. Is there no broom? Is someone already using the broom? What's going on? We've had a, co a complete collapse. Oh yeah, she's on it. She's doing the full sweep. Yeah, look how, much, how many negative thoughts we had about the amount of litter. That's funny. Well, there wouldn't be so much litter if you weren't eating so much crap. Right, benches. I need to move a bench over here as well. Do we not have any padded benches yet? We do, so I, I'm just going to sell these. We don't need these. I'm going to use padded benches for all of this. So that can be another one here. I think. Yeah, there you go. So now someone is actually going to give a talk about the Stingray. Why are all of these skulls in the Stingray tank? Wouldn't you like to know? Right. An enemy done. So let's research a starfish next. But I think next up we do that. So we'll put that over here as well. Go here. Extending this. I feel like we're going to eventually reach the point where this isn't practical. So we're only allowed one clownfish. 
so this is going to be another basic tank, for sure. So that can go there. Um, maybe we can make this a self-sufficient tank as well. So we need the enemy. Because we've got the light in here, we might as well have the other corals. So you can go in the middle. Then... Daisy Star Pops can go back here, and Foodstool Coral can go here. Okay. You need lamps, you need a power light. Um, we would need... I don't think we're going to get to this water quality with just stuff. And we can't put the egg rack in here because the tank is too shallow. you need anything else? It doesn't seem like you need anything else. So, what do we actually want to put in here? Maybe some eelgrass. I see that. There you go. And then we can just hook you up to this pump as well. I can go there. I can sell sell this broken machine. Amazing. Put this here. Is this a one of everything challenge? Unfortunately, it is. This is the eighth mission where you're only supposed to have one fish of each type. And I don't think it's locking us out exclusively, but I imagine we get like a prestige penalty if we have less than, if we have more than one of each fish. So we've got to find a buddy for this tank, which I think is going to be this very unreasonable fox-faced rabbit fish. Does the clownfish eat green pellets? No, he eats orange pellets. Good. <laughs> very good. Right, uh, now you need a bit more water quality. How about a large protein skimmer? That's... Probably overkill. How about a regular protein skimmer? That'll do. Right. And then you just need orange pellets as well, so that could just go here. Seems good. Okay, and then we can just paint you. What color we got paint you? Pirate Cove, I think. And then continue the beach paint over here. There's enough toilet coverage over there for now, so that's good. Um, we do want another coffee machine here. We do not have another coffee machine. Yes. Okay. I guess we need the science for those things. Oh, I see. Yes, that actually makes sense. So we had some to start with, but we still need a tech to get more. Okay, I'll just make a note of that. Maybe for now I'll just put another palm tree. Like palm trees. Okay. Oh, zooplankton. Yes, we need zooplankton. I don't want them marching all the way from the other side of the place for that. Okay, let's just check what all the errands are getting done. There's a lot of errands. I mean, these guys will get more staff and that will uh, resolve fairly soon. Um, yeah. These staff will get more skill and that should resolve some of this issue fairly soon. We're fixing all this equipment now. Now you're feeding these guys. A flet shark has grown, Volatan's lionfish has grown. Right, what's a sitch? I don't think there is a sitch. I think we're okay. Yes, we are for now. Actually, I think we're fine. Yeah, this tank's at max. That tank's at max. I think the anemone and the corals are gonna grow. It's okay. 
So next up, I think we definitely prioritize some bigger tanks over here. So this next one is going to have to be a hot tank. And I think I actually want to keep the keep the deep outcrop tanks. I'm really liking how they look in this. So let's just move this back here. I guess we'll do that for now. Uh, we'll do something with this Lagoon tank later. So we need to do... Okay, this is the only hot water fish we have left at the moment. So we need to get some bigger hot water fish to put in this one. So definitely makes sense to do cold water next. Lump sucker will get eaten. So I think we just need to put these fish together because they're all big. So 19, 13... I know you're not a fish. <laughs> I know you're not a fish. Um, 32, 48. That seems reasonable. So, deep outcrop tank. We'll just put in another minimum size one. That can go here so that we can actually walk around. We're making a lot of money. I mean, I guess that makes sense because we're selling everything. I'm going to have to move something or we're not going to be able to keep the spacing up. I don't. I mean, you don't have to look at it from that side as well. Feels like a bit of a missed opportunity, though. Nah, we'll keep the spacing. I'm liking the weird theme that we've got going, honestly. And we'll keep this space here for something else as well. Maybe we'll put a bench there. something. Oh, bin coverage. What's the bin coverage? Not very good when you're getting around here. Let's put some more bins in. You know what? It's more bin time. <laughs> um, that will help. Yeah, the coverage is not good. I think this needs to be a bin as well. I guess that's what we get when we get all these weird dead ends in the aquarium. That would explain the huge amount of litter from earlier. This bin can go here as well. And then that bin can go there. And that bin can go there. Do not throw your waste directly into the fish tank. Uh, let's see. That can go here. That can go that. That can link across to this tank. Now we're going to need uh, an extra heater, so this will do. And then in terms of water quality, we need to add the fish. These are all cold water fish. My brain broke. the next big fish after this the green moray eel okay we'll get a green moray eel and we'll get like one of these groupers what we'll do and i'm gonna wall this tank off again <laughs> there you go amazing i guess we can start putting stuff in here so yeah pick the green moray eel You eat crustaceans. We're not going to have any crustaceans in here. You're a wimp. So, you don't seem to go anywhere in particular. You're size 8. You're armored. So, when we put the green Mara eel in here, he'll eat animals up to size 11 eventually. But you're going to be size 16. You're armored. We'll put you in here. Get you growing to start. You can have muscles, or cockles rather. Let's actually reverse this, because we're going to have all the feeding things on one side. Then this goes in here as well. You do need some rocks. 
So let's put the let's put the velvet horn in here. That seems. Good. And yeah, we're just gonna let you grow in here for now. So we're not gonna display you yet. We'll wait until the tank's a bit more full to do that. It's like in zoos with the crocodile pulling the pond is full of coins. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Look how much money we're making. We've already got almost the same cash flow that we had in the other aquarium with all the stuff in it. Right, so now we just won the blue and yellow grouper? No. Right, so you're 28 in size. You're 8, so that's 36. That's 44. So we have 12 more room. So are there any fish that are compatible that are 12 size? It would have to be 12 size as well. No. Okay. I think we leave that then. Let's start researching more cold water stuff, I suppose. Oh, box fish. Actually, no. The eel will eat up to size 11. So the box fish will get eaten. That's a shame. Eel goes in here, and then I think that tank is actually full. So you need caves, so you can get the column. I can go at the back. And you need to eat herring. So I can go here. And then the water quality is still good at the moment, but that will change. And then what else do we want to put in here? I think we put the cannons here now. Then, oh no no, uh, we'll save the egg wrap for a tank that needs it. Put the compasses in here. Okay, whatever. So that tank is full. It's not really. And then these walls will go like this. And we'll have some benches along there. You've got bench coverage from these benches here. Realistically, if the eel ate the box fish, it would get it would go to from poison. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not simulated, obviously. Right. Pacific paint is correct. Go here. Um, I need a door. So that door can go here. And then we need another bench. So that bench can go there. We don't need a toilet there. What else do we want to put here? I don't think there is anything else we want to put there at the moment. We'll find something to put there, I'm sure. Okay, we know we unlock that. Oh yeah, oh right, I see, yeah. Okay, just unlock all the cheap stuff. So the next ones will be the cold water tanks. Hello, Mr. Eel. <laughs> so silly. We got the puffer fish. He's so cute. He's so cute. My favorite. So right, if I had four tanks, I would have this one, I'd have the frog tank, I'd have a Corydoras tank, and I'd have a puffer fish tank. It's definitely what I'd do. Yes, keep unlocking cold water stuff. Zao has grown, you can get a gift shop. The Lux toilet, okay. Uh, definitely grab the coffee machine next, because we need another one of those. How is the lionfish looking? You're not quite at the right quality anymore. So I think you need more I could give you a nitrate reactor. I didn't need to move that.
That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, you guys are enjoying all of this. Let's get rid of this crap. Do I even care about this lagoon tank? I don't think I do. I think we've got a style that we've got going on now. There's some video of a Dragon Mori biting a Toby Puffer and letting it go because the spaz has come in. Yeah. Smart fish. Uh, Grouper sounds good as well. Let's get the box fish. So, the box fish. Hold on. What's, what's this? Stingray is grown. Indeed. Uh, you need some more water quality as well. So... You can probably just have... Probably just have a double filter. There you go. So... Can I put the box fish in this tank? So you don't like coral beauties, you're a wimp. And then the box fish can't be housed with other things that eat cockles. And he eats crustaceans. Okay, so that's why we're not doing that one. Yes. Balls, balls, balls. Oh well. Right, we have enough money. Let's do the next cold water tank and we'll uh, probably hire someone else after this. So we're going to go with another size 56 one, maybe. So what can we do? I mean, the bull hus is obviously a good fish for us to have for the science. So that gives us 21 size. We could have the cuttlefish in here. Crab would be slightly too big as well. Maybe put the lump sucker in there? Can't be housed with other things that eat mussels. We can't fit three things in the tank with this. So maybe we just go with... The bull huffs and the turbots. Yeah, I think we put them in the same tank. Because they're both they both eat quite big things. Okay. So let's do that. So I think that means I actually remove this wall. Put another tank like that here. I don't mind having that bench in front of it here. It's not a problem to me. The barrel, I don't care about the barrel. I think we just do exactly the same thing over here, except we make all of these the cold water tanks. So that is going to be the shipwreck. No going to be the pirate bow paint. It's fine. Sell that, put the door in here. Feeding platform goes... <laughs> not quite like that, no. No, not like that either. What do? There you go. So in terms of fish, bull husk goes in here. Then we put the turbot in here with him. It's a lot of science. We need a pump. So that's gonna go here. The thing these pumps don't need fixing. Be a bit of a pain. So you need a chiller. Uh, there's no combi chiller, so maybe we have a bigger tank. Maybe we have a bigger tank at the end, so we can have a bigger chiller. And it's justified. Food-wise, we need supplements, uh, mussels, and cockles. We have cockles here already, so supplements can go here. 
Muscles can go here. Then you just need water quality, so put a large filter on there. Looks like that'll do for now. In terms of decorations, uh, egg rack in here seems fine. Uh, maybe just put the kelp in here. No, we'll put the egg rack in here. That'll add all the nitrate power. And then that will uh, keep the water quality good for the next tank as well. As long as we don't have any plant lovers in there. Uh, lantern can go here, and the pirate chest can go here. There we go. Enjoy your new tank. And then we'll put another bench in here as well. Bin coverage seems good. The turbot, I think, is the longest flat, uh, largest flatfish. They can be longer than a person. Yeah, they are pretty large. Let's have a look. Here's the bull hus, and here's the turbot. <laughs> he's got that uh, swimming motion about him. He's, he's doing his best. Pretty happy with that. So we got the box fish. Let's get the grouper next. I think we're going to go for another half an hour. And then we'll probably finish off this mission another day again. I'm going to get it back in sync where we actually finish a mission. We'll start and finish a mission on the same day. But I've got, I've got to get ready for work tomorrow. Um, let's see. Jellyfish? I don't think we have any jellyfish available. Maybe they'll become available if we research this. Let's try it. So we need to put a copy machine here. It's fine. And then that's coverage is going everywhere now. Good. I'm really liking this layout. This Thanks feels much follow. more organized. Thank you very much for the follow. Zipaphorus43 Maculath. You're obviously in good company. Uh fellow fish lovers. All right, rank up. Let's go. So now I've got a few more options. Blonde skate, Atlantic cod. These are all the things we just unlocked last time. Mm -hmm. Maybe we replace the blue crab with the red crab because it's a bit bigger in that coral beauty tank. Then we've got the merchandise. The large pump is pretty nice. We're definitely going to want to use that, I think. And I think we just need to get started on the cold water tanks. Yes. Ah, we've got some extra got some extra quests now. Let's have a look at these quickly. Cold water mix. So blonde skate and six animals. That's gonna be a big tank. Okay. Oddballs tank with three oddballs. And that needs to be a cold water tank. And then an active swimmer tank with five different active swimmers. Blimey, okay. Right, let's have a think about how we're going to do that. So, you guys are obviously active swimmers already. So, potentially, what we do is we move the surgeon fish to another tank where we can fit more active swimmers. So if we look at this, let's see. So these three are the active swimmers we have together at the moment. We don't have any more currently unlocked. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. Oddballs. Um, so Lump Sucker is an oddball. Wolf Fish, I believe, is an oddball. Yes, you're an oddball. Sorry, mate. I don't make up the rules. We're going to have to get to rank 10. I think we're going to have to get up to rank 10. Maybe. We'll do some more quests. I think we might have to leave these for quite a while. The blonde skate definitely seems like it's worth pursuing. We got... Unicorn, Surgeon, Fish, Starfish have grown. Yeah, you're all fine. No issues. So the Pollock can go in a tank. 
Uh, you're not an oddball. So the Pollock and the Cuttlefish we know together. That's 32. Then the Pycrust Crab. That can go in there as well. You're armored level 12, so you're never going to eat him. You're a crustacean. You're going to grow before this guy does, so I think you're fine as well. So that is 29, 38. So then what's the next cold water fish in there? 38. So that makes 60, which is slightly too big. I think we're reaching the limits of what we can do with these small tanks. So I think we're going to have to start having some larger cold water tanks. We can do a double tank here. It's not really a problem. I would probably have to move one of these toilets, though. Right, let's try and get this blonde skate tank together. So we'll get all of that researched. So, let's see. Yeah, we'll get the common lobster done as well. You guys are getting negative thoughts. Why? The aquarium's untidy. Okay. Balloon shelf? Yes. Why are you stressed? Oh! Ah, you need a bigger tank. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go have a very quick break. I'm going to go to the loo. And then we're going to figure out what to do with this guy. Because we're going to need to put him in a different tank. He's too big now. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. I'm going to go to the loo. I will be right back. Uh, so I'll leave you with some footage of the fish. And I'll see you in a minute. Bye for now. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's figure this out. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're definitely too big for this tank now, buddy. Makes sense. Now, I can't just make the tank bigger, because I don't think the deep outcrop tank goes that big. No, it only goes up to 88. And this guy requires a tank size of 108. So we're going to have to get rid of him. I think we can just sell him. I think I'm just going to sell him. 
We'll find someone else to put in here. Uh, how do I sell him? Here we go. Yeah, we'll sell the Unicorn Surgeon Fish. So now, we're back to 16 space in here. We can put another large fish in here. I'm thinking the blue and yellow grouper. Uh, we'll eat animals up to size 9. So that's... <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Yeah, okay. Shame I forgot to read this line of text. The box fish could go in here. Uh, these guys don't eat cockles, do they? No. So we can put the box fish in here. So I think we do that, and we'll find another large fish to put in here later. You eat cockles, which is fine, because that's there. We're just going to have a slightly empty tank for a little bit. That's not really an issue. Um, what I want to do is I want to set up this big cold water tank. So let's actually move that out of the way. And we've got loads of money. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have a double wide area. So this is going to take up two boutique areas worth. So, let's see. I think what I'll do is... We'll do a deep observer tank. I think that makes sense. 120 size? I mean, that seems reasonable to me. I think actually we make it a little bit smaller. Put it there. Sell this wall. And then we put another bench facing the other way. Pressing the wrong buttons. I can go there. And then... This wall can go here. Door in here. Seems fine. So this is at 96 in size. So how big does the blonde skate get, first of all? It's 26. So we need to find six numbers that add up to 96 from the cold water section. And what do we already have? So we determined the lump sucker can't go in here with the pollock. Um on brain maths. We need five animals that add up to 70. So you're 16. So we need four animals that add up to 54. You're 13. So we need three animals that add up to 41. You're nine, so we need two animals that add up to 35. Yeah, I don't think any of you will get you. So I think we can put you in here. We can put you in here. We can put you in here. And then we'll need some rocks, so... Fill this with rubble, I think. I do just like the look of a rubble tank every now and then. Well, fish is one of those... A lot of fish that get called eels, despite not being even close. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying earlier, like, I, there's a wolf fish in the local garden center. I don't know I don't know why they're selling it. I don't know who they expect to be able to house a wolf fish around here. So let's see. This is... Pirate Cove paint. Mm-mm-mm. Think that blue. Think that pirate cove. And then this could be jungle themed, I suppose. Like, why? Who knows? Because we just unlocked it, I suppose. Actually, yeah, you know what? You can have You can have a separate thing here. Have fun. Completely random. You'll have to see it. 
Right, so you need hooking up to this. So add that. We have 152's worth of chilling needed. So a large chiller will do. Chin chiller. Very silly. Right. Platforms. Let's have two platforms. There's going to be a lot of feeding going on here. And then, in terms of water quality, you actually still have it at the moment, which is funny to me. So you need cockle, you need mussels, you need supplement, and you need sand deal. So all you need over here really is sand deal. That's good. And then obviously the blonde skate eats sand deal as well. That's fine. Okay. I think we just leave that going for now. Get someone else who can do feeding. You know what? You can have feeding. Here you go. Feel bad I got rid of the unicorn surgeon fish. I do not feel like dealing with that today. We'll deal with that next time. Because we need a proper big tank for that. It doesn't really fit in with the whole theme of the boutique yet. Right, lobster. Can't be housed with common lobster. We'll eat crustaceans up to size 8. But it's fully growing. So I think we can put the lobster in here too. And then we just need another cold water thing. We need the blonde skate, obviously. Watch our, watch our little guy. This guy is not very efficient, but he is cute. Then we got the crab. Don't believe I put a crab in here yet. He's hiding in the rock. Uh, what's up with you? Oh, you've grown, haven't you? The green moray eel has grown. Okay. So you need a little bit of extra water quality. So let's actually give you a large protein. That'll do. Big eel. Yeah, we're definitely not getting this mission done today. We have to get 4,500 prestige. A lot of that is going to come from these quests, to be fair. But it's still a very large amount. Let's get the popcorn cart next, because we'll probably put that here. What else do we unlock? We unlock the, the toys, the balloon shelves. We have coverage over here. It's really not a lot of coverage. I'm actually surprised how little coverage that is. So let's put in some more. I'm sure everyone is buying balloons. It's be oh, I know why. It's because it's because this stuff's all blocking it. Mm. I'm gonna get rid of the palm tree as well. This was leveled up. Let's give you fixing just so you can be a bit more versatile. Long skate, okay. Um, any small guys? Yeah. Fish eating an enemy does not seem like what we want. No, I didn't want to change the aquarium price. Yeah, you're not an animal. You don't count. Sadly. Pod gets too big. I feel like all these guys get too big. Well, we're going to have a big tank anyways. Let's go with the leopard shark. So the blonde skate has to go in here. I feel like we have to have the lobster in here as well. I think we're just going to have to make this tank a bit bigger. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Yeah, because you should be fine. You're going to need a cave, though. So, let's actually sell that one. Put in... What are we going to put in? That'll do, I think. 
So let's add these together. So 26 plus 16 is 42. Plus 22 is 64. Plus 9 is 73. Plus 13 is 86. So 86 and the whatever we can add for one more. The thing is, we can add the lump sucker once he's grown up. I th but he's an oddball, so we're going to put him in the oddball tank anyways. Yeah. So we can't do that. It's going to have to be someone else, so... Whatever, I don't even want to research you. I want to research someone else. It's going to have to be the cod, isn't it? The wolffish is just going to eat the crab. I feel like. And the wolffish is an oddball. So it's got to be the cod. So it's got to be 86 plus 32 is 118. Which means we need 118 sized tank for all these guys. Which means it needs to be... It needs to be max size. It needs to be this big. Which is fine. I just need to swap everything out quickly. Okay. Well, at least I've realized that now. Oh no! We're, we're letting the guests wander in here. That's that's not good. Uh, yes, come out of here. Please? I think we can just pick these guys up. Okay, that actually works pretty well. So, yeah, paint you with the jungle paint. And then we'll just move all of you in here. You might be wondering how we got here. Well, do we have the story for you? Uh, wait, let's see. We'll put something running down the middle. I guess. Um, kelp. You know what? Let's do it. Kelp. 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 There we go. And then sell this. And then just link this pipe pipe pump over here and that is still enough chilling capacity it just about works okay that's really good so you're gonna need a crab dispenser crab okay who eats crab you eat crab you eat crabs up to size eight when you've grown You'll grow... I mean, you're you're pretty well armored. You're a big... I think you'll be fine. I think we just figured out the lump sucker was the only thing that was too small to actually fit in there and not die. So I think we're okay. So now we just need to get the cod. Stick him in there and then we'll actually be fine. And I can actually move this... Here. Do not move pumps when they're disconnected or the fish will suffer. Very true. Also, we need to put a toolkit in here. I uh, forgot. So I guess that's going to go here. Oh, wait. The door, the door doesn't go anywhere now. Cool. I guess it's fine. And then the toolkit can go here. You need to fix the chiller. No, nah, we're just going to sell the chiller. You can sell the chiller. It loses a little bit of money, but it means they don't have to come fix it. It's got a big difference. All right. I think that's what we're going to do then. I think we're just going to get the this this uh, tank sorted out, and then we'll leave it so we've got plenty of stuff to do in the next stream. Right. What's wrong with you guys? Are you at the right water quality? You're not. You're only at 70 now. This tank is less fussy. So I need to put a protein skimmer here. We're obviously going to need to put a protein skimmer here because they're going to get fussy later on. I think for now I'm just going to move that there. Move this here. 
That works for now. All right. I'm pretty pleased with how this has gone. I like the aesthetic. Oh, we got the popcorn machine. Okay. Let's grab the popcorn machine. So where are we going to put that? That is going to go... We definitely fit one here. Not got a huge reach. People aren't going to be getting popcorn all the way over here. To be fair, you guys can actually reach this popcorn machine from here. There you go. You can grab popcorn from behind the, the opening tank. That sounds fun. All right, and then we can put another one here. I'm sure we'll find something else to put here as well. And then... I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to put in any more popcorn machines. I think that's probably enough. Your... Oh, now that chill is breaking. Okay, but you're fixing that. That's not an issue. Just don't feed the fish with the popcorn. You just gotta tell them not to feed the fish with the popcorn. Right, we need the wolf fish. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. Oh no, this is a tropical crab. Okay, I thought that was a cold water crab. That would have been perfect for this. Right, cod goes in here. So now you just need a little bit of extra... Oh, let's give you a nitrate reactor that can go over here. There we go. Cold water mixed display gives your guests a new reason to come to the aquarium. Base prestige has increased. Okay, let's uh, let's actually sell this. And I'll put that there. You know what? I think I'll do. Shift this around here. That'll do for now. I'll uh, probably refine this a bit later. But I'm pretty happy with how this is looking, honestly. This feels like a very tight and focused aquarium. And if we look at the view ratings, everyone is seeing every tank. This one's just been put in. Oh, these ones aren't getting seen that much. Probably want to put... We've got someone doing a podium talk over here. Hmm, interesting these tanks aren't getting seen so much. We'll figure that all out later. Zawa's leveled up. Let's give him more feeding. Seems good. Right. I think on, I think on this note we end it. We're going to get a look at the weirdo. We don't have a cowfish this time. I'm so sad. There you go. We'll end it. We'll end it looking at the turbot. There we go. <laughs> what a thing! Too long of a walk there. I mean, yes, yes. I suppose that's true. It doesn't feel bigger than the other aquariums. I guess they just aren't incentivized to walk all this way. But how would you really solve that? Maybe we put down some floor arrows or something. Sends guests up to twelve tiles into the direction it's facing. When following an arrow, guests can be, still be attracted towards other objects. They'll always, they'll only follow a given arrow once. So what we could do is we could put the arrow at the end here to encourage people to go to the end, maybe. And then once they follow it once, they, they'll ignore it and go back. You know what, let's do it. I haven't put down an arrow before. Here you go. Have an arrow. <laughs> right, on that note, I'm going to save it and we're going to wrap it up. I think it's been going pretty well. And uh, we will come back to this. So, bit, 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 bit. thank you very much for watching. It's been good. Um, I'm glad you will watch. Um, I'm glad you all enjoyed watching Mega Aquarium tonight. I enjoy playing it a lot, as you can tell. I'm quite a fish enthusiast. There's definitely a few fish enthusiasts among us as well. Among us. Um, <laughs> if you do miss an episode of this, uh, you can find the previous episodes on YouTube. I tried to keep it to one mission per episode. I'm not sure how this one will go. I might split this VOD in two. I might not. We'll see how I feel. Uh, but if you like what you've seen, feel free to follow and you'll get a notification on Twitch when I go live. Um, we, As I said, we do this on Tuesdays. Occasionally we do multiplayer on Tuesdays. Occasionally we do this. Um, I think next Tuesday we'll do more Don't Starve together. Um, if, if the Max Not Binary is around doing that. 
If not, we'll do more Mega Aquarium. Um, but I will release a video soon on this game about the statistics behind the fish. That is going to happen within the month, I imagine. And there's also a Discord group where we hang out and post builds and memes and things. I'm going to be honest, I don't know many other people who actually play this game. Um, doesn't seem to have gained much traction on Twitch yet, which is a shame because it's really fun. And I think there's a lot of potential. And the DLCs have come out. There's a lot of content. Once we've done all the campaign missions for the base game and the DLC, we're probably going to try and build a sandbox aquarium as well and apply some of the lessons from my uh, video that I'm working on. So that'll be fun. Uh, anyways, I've rambled on for way too much long. Let's uh, actually wrap it up and go see someone else. Who is on? Is anyone else playing this game first? Let's see. Mega Aquarium. Uh, nope. <laughs> I am definitely the only one. I have attracted 100% of Twitch's audience today. Um, man, I don't know who I'm going to raid. I'm going to go raid 2 Legit City. They're playing Oxygen Not Included. I usually play Oxygen Not Included. Uh, very fun game. But if I played it all of the time, I would go spare. So that's why we do other things. Yes, let's go raid them. If you have any fishy emotes or fishy sentiments, feel free uh, to share them with Too Legit City. Uh, they're currently doing a 100% run in the base game. So uh, hopefully that is going well for them. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will be back on Thursday with more oxygen not included. See you later. Bye for now.